The Pandas hockey team finished last season as Canada West champions for the 12th time and were one of the handful of teams to qualify for the CIS Nationals, where they made it to the quarterfinals. We really came together as a unit and, I mean, we believed in each other and we weren't the most highly skilled team overall, but our work ethic overpowered most teams and it was awesome to see. Last season's trip to Nationals is going to be extremely valuable moving forward for the program. All the returning players now know exactly what it takes to get to the end goal. Now it's up to them to take that experience and try and turn it into something tangible and, and hopefully that'll be uh, you know, going a little further at Nationals. The team will be comprised of a good mix of veterans and younger players this year. The younger players can rely on the half dozen 50 year players to help them learn what it takes to be a Pandas hockey player. I think the, the greatest thing about this group is the energy. They're young, they're energetic, they're hard workers. They, you can, just in, in the time that I've had to spend with them, you know that they're going to be players that are committed to getting better every day. Last season, the Pandas led the Canada West in goals for and goals against, an all-around attack anchored by strong defense and CIS All-Canadian goalie Lindsay Post. Well, it starts with Lindsay and it, it works its way out. So Lindsay last year was particularly, had, had um, grown in leaps and bounds in terms of her confidence and her skill and ability and her conditioning and just everything. So, you know, she brought all of that to the table last year. Post finished the regular season with 10 shutouts, a Pandas and Canada West record. If there is a mistake or you take a risk in the offensive zone, you know that Post will be back there prepared to, to play for us. And it's nice knowing that we have someone to rely on. She's, she's our backbone. This summer, each panda has a thorough off-ice conditioning program that is keeping them busy, along with some ice time to keep their skills sharp. The team will then head to Sweden at the end of August to play against some top professional teams to wrap up their summer training. So it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of work, um, and it should hopefully set us on the right path for, uh, for getting back to nationals. And for the 50-year players on the team, the attitude coming into this season is simple. From talking with everyone over the summer, there's the group of us that are prepared to do anything to win at this point. It's our last go and at this point it's now or never. So I'm really excited to see what everyone comes back looking like and prepared to do. For Golden Bears and Pandas, I'm Daniel Anselmi.